Welcome back Nerd Squad, my name is Rory Destroya and this is Top 10 Nerd. As we have discovered, you guys think that there are a lot more than just 10 villains who kinda had a point with what they were doing. So we've compiled another list of villains who may not truly really be villains after all. So let's take a look at the top 10 super villains who were right and this is part 2, be sure to check out our part 1. Number 10 spot is Flag Smasher. Flag Smasher was a Captain America villain who was introduced back in 1985. Now what he was created to show was anti-patriotism, but he actually made a fair argument with what his mission was. He claimed that if humanity did away with countries and nationalities, that it would also get rid of those who thought they were better than others based on those labels, because he just wanted to unite mankind. Though controversial, he certainly gives you something to think about. Next in number 9 we have Sinestro. Sinestro is a Green Lantern villain obsessed with dominance, but this is not without reason. He did use his Green Lantern ring to basically conquer his planet Korrigar, but he did it because he wanted it to be a world of order. So he set himself up as the leader, and under his tough dictatorship, there was little room for those stepping out of line. This is in the extremes in the most extreme manner, but people do operate best under a certain degree of order. No, I said certain degree. Coming in at number 8 is the shark from Jaws, who just happened to be nicknamed Bruce, like the shark from Finding Nemo too, but actually after Spielberg's lawyer, Bruce Raymond. What the shark did was totally justifiable, seeing as the humans were in his water, and he's just being what nature intended him to be, a shark. Sharks gotta eat, right? How could you ask it to turn down a buffet of fleshy, slow moving entrees? Especially when he's established his home and nobody seems to care because the town's income is more important. In the number 7 spot is Jeremy Briggs. This is a lesser known guy from Marvel who also operated under the alias of Alchemist. Jeremy had befriended the Avengers Academy and tried to induct them into his plan to depower them via a solution he called Clean Slates. He also wants to fire missiles of the solution worldwide. While this didn't go over particularly well with those with powers for obvious reasons, would it really be such a bad idea to wipe the world of superpowers that could potentially corrupt the powered and spell bad news for the common weak human? Up in number 6 we got Lizard. Particularly in the movie The Amazing Spider-Man, Dr. Kurt Connors had a vision that he wanted to share with the world. Yeah, maybe that vision included turning the human race into lizard-human hybrids like himself, but that vision could be generalized to wanting to strengthen the human race and unite them under one shared trait. The collective grossness of being half lizard. No, it doesn't sound ideal, but he was right that it would eliminate outcasts and weaknesses. Coming in at number 5 is Shere Khan. Humans were the only source of pain that Shere Khan from the Jungle Book had ever known. And he's not wrong. Whether it's hunting or deforestation, we basically bring nothing but grief to wild animals. So maybe he was a little extreme with his wanting to get rid of Mowgli. But can you imagine what would happen if more humans began populating the jungle said Shere Khan called his home, it may start to look like New York, and I have yet to see a thriving tiger wild in the Big Apple. Next up at number 4 we have Ra's al Ghul. This Batman villain may come off at first as just your average crazy I wanna kill everyone bad guy, but really his goal is deeper than just murder and it makes sense when you think about it. He wants to restore perfect environmental order, which you gotta admit the earth had before us stupid humans. So obviously the solution is kill off most of the humans. I mean he's right on some counts, but can he take what he's dishing out? He's human too. Too, by the way. Up next to number 3 is the Joker. Some people would even go so far as to theorize that the Joker was the hero in Dark Knight in some ways. While he may have just wanted to watch the world burn, he did make some deep and dark truths come to light about human morality and fragility. In the end, everything we do is about survival, and only the strong survive, especially if they're only looking out for their own best interests. It's hard to think about what you would do in a life or death situation until you're in one, so never put too much trust in humanity. Craft just got real. In the number 2 spot we got Syndrome. The antagonist's quote of The Incredibles rang quite powerful throughout the movie. If everyone is super then no one will be. Ultimately he has a major point. If everyone is special then nobody will be singled out. Or if everyone was different, nobody would be singled out. By making everyone a superhero there would be nobody who regarded themselves as above others. Similar to how the lizard operated, by granting everyone the ability to be super there would be no outcasts or power struggles, only a united and 
slightly terrifying mankind. And finally, in the number one spot, we have Killmonger. Yes, finally, here he is. You can stop yelling at me now. We do have to apologize for not having him in the first video, but the truth is that the video was recorded and uploaded before Black Panther was even out, and anyone knew who Killmonger was, really. If we're talking about villains with a major point, it's this guy. Killmonger wanted to use Wakanda's strengths to help the oppressed and underprivileged. This is exactly what we need in the world, but not through his proposed methods. Violence and usurping, because that usually leads to more of the same, and as they say, an eye for an eye makes the world blind. So those were the top 10 super villains who were right part 2. Let me know in the comments section down below what villain you think really had a point. My name is Rory Destroya, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.